What's up, YouTube? Vlog 45. Getting up there in them numbers. Check out this nice little shipment. Got that Atlas back end. Been trying to get that forever. And I guess they took all my requests and sent me them all at once. I got like 30 of them. Not that many. A little exaggeration. But get that Atlas, please. Some real grades back in and boom! Mega. So you can have a grandpa next to your mega unicorn. Nice little Bill Fighter selection, and of course, that Gundam Lightning, Black Warrior. Some nice new figurized, <clears throat> nice new figurized, Goof Custom, favorite of many. And then the one I've been waiting for, Gundam Local Type, North America. If you guys are a fan of the anime Gangsta, Got a nice figure. And if you don't know, Bandai's been making these uh, nude figures, which are mostly for artists. And this is their new anime line of them. So they have like the bigger anime head. And they actually suggest, I think it's a pretty cool idea. You can take a picture of it, print your picture out, and if you have a color, uh, not a uh, color, a light box, you could actually have the light box almost like a tracing board and you could uh place the figures into the poses you want and just uh trace them and build up from there so pretty cool idea this is a dx one so it comes with a ton of accessories so you know artists out there you know what to do with that all right let's take a look at these new ones of course we gotta start out with that uh that local super dark uh like German gray type of color. What's nice about this, I mean, if you don't like stickers, it's probably gonna be a headache because I think these stickers are what really makes this jump out. So, I mean, you look at that picture there. You need that orange to really make it pop or it's gonna be a very bland kit. But if you don't mind stickers, that's a nice one. And they are the better decal, so don't worry about that. Uh, your Lightning Black Warrior. Really nice weapons. Um, I mean, the suit's pretty bland. The gold's okay. So here's the gold color. Not too shabby. Uh, what I would suggest for this one, either hit it with gloss or two-tone the black part so you have a little color distinction so maybe like you know really dark gray and then a black or a, you know real dark gray blue something to give it a little more excitement because i think it looks kind of bland unless like i said you gloss it up then maybe it'll stand out and i would i mean it's not designed to have it but i probably turn those v-fins to gold just to give it a little more something to jump with and maybe especially two-tone that face plate too of course they have a picture with the dry on there which is a p bandai one but uh pretty cool nonetheless love the love the weapons weapons are nice <clears throat> and if you haven't before another chance at the stylet from frame arms these are pretty cool kits uh, Kodo kits definitely have a different feel than the Bandai kits, but they're really good quality. And what's cool about Kodo is you get a bunch of faces, but the eyes are already put on for you. So you get some pretty faces. You don't have to worry about jacking up ID cows. But if you want to do your own, there's a couple blank ones in there. Several hands. Um, looks like you get a base in here. So all set to do what you want to do with this one. Very customizable. Um, a lot of people doing some nice stuff with this online, so check those out if you're ever interested in something a little different. And for different, those Dragon Ball kits, man. Here's the combo of Krillin and uh, Son Goku. So I love how they did Krillin's head. They actually have the holes are indented in there. They're holes, so you don't have to worry about putting perfect stickers or anything like that on there. Colors are looking really good in here. They are just crazy bright. You get a lot of um, effect parts here. So you're getting that, and you're getting uh, these effect parts. A really nice setup of effect parts. 
and you get one stand in here. So I think so you can pose them together. And this stand's pretty got a lot going on to this stand, so that's nice. And one more thing from Dragon Ball Z. They have this new Dragon Ball Z uh, Master Roshi Wagon, which is part of the Dragon Ball Z Mech Collection. And this thing's pretty cute, but you better have your miniature painting skills together because you got to paint them little figures. <laughs> I mean, that's a pro right there did that. So let me show you how small those are. These are like a miniature war game size, basically, but... I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're right there in the middle. There's somebody's head. Yep. So, little black things. You have to do a lot of painting on that. But, you know, if you're into that, if you're into painting miniatures and stuff, this is perfect. And it's actually a pretty cool, something different. Nice little van. I think it'll really stand out on the shelf. Even though it's small, it's going to have a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of work to get that going. So, you'll, you'll feel proud about it. I mean, really impressive with whoever the artist who did this was. That's very impressive. All right, that's all I got for you guys this week. Nothing crazy going on in the store this weekend, but uh, next weekend, that's the weekend. That's when we got out of the class. Tim Child on Mecca and Justinia's Bills coming up. Of course, there'll be a lot of the local uh, Gunpla builders in the house. I'm sure Gundam Nerd will probably drop through. And speaking of that, make sure you're checking out Real World Gunpla, our YouTube channel. We just posted up another video yesterday. So definitely check that out. Like and subscribe so we can start doing big things on there. All right. Talk to you all later. Peace.